Je ne sais pas. Je, je ne sais pas. Welcome back to Cosmos Anonymous. I did not even bother to change my clothes. I'm telling y'all two, two stories. Get into it. Oh, yeah, lost. Okay. So, this is the story of the time I got fired from flight school. Shout out to Amanda Dubay because she didn't get fired from flight school or from being a flight attendant. She's a flight attendant now, living luxury life, okay? Living the luxury life, okay? And so this is a story on how and why I got fired from being a flight attendant. I was unemployed as fuck, broke than a motherfucker, like needed money bad. And my mother is actually a career counselor, or she was. She was a career counselor, and so she used to work at this place that basically helps you get a job. And so I would always go and try to get my little ass a job, get into workshops and stuff. And so one job in particular was for a flight attendant. And my mom's like, you have to do this. You speak French, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, mom, I'll do it. Like, we just need a job. The pay was high as fuck, $30 an hour. I said, hello, hi, wait. 32, say that again, repeat yourself, $30 an hour, okay, and so I was just like, I'm here for this, I, thank you lord, I'm here for this, so my mom like lines up everything for me, and I get my resume in order, I change my resume, <laughs> yeah, I, I get my resume fixed up, nice, okay, and like, I have no problem getting a job, I can get a job, like that okay my resume is a1 but I'm bad at interviews so I had to do interview prep for this job because be, like I will fuck up an interview really badly sometimes I still end up with a job just cuz I don't know I think my personality still shows even though in an interview in an interview I am nervous as a motherfucker and it definitely shows on my face in my body language like I can't relax during an interview if it feels like an interview like if I feel like they're like so tell me a little bit about yourself why do you want the job bitch cuz I'm broke like fuck you me why do I want the job like wait I get really nervous and I have really 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 severe anxiety when it comes to stuff like that but for and this interview I knew for what I knew for a fact that I would be nervous as shit and be shit in bricks because part of the interview was gonna be in French background about my ass as a child from K to grade 3 I was in French immersion so my first language though we spoke English at home my first language that I was actually taught in school was French we did not speak English in school at all unless we were outside at recess and even then sometimes we would still speak French so my first language was French so when I moved to Scarborough from Pickering I didn't have good English skills so when I first got to Emily Carr I was struggling a little bit with my English and eventually the English took over the French disappeared and like I can understand French if it spoke at a certain pace but to communicate it back I sound like a fucking idiot like really though I need some French I wish I still had my French skills but I don't in the interview you're basically asked are you like beginner intermediate or advanced French and so I'm thinking I'm intermediate because I can understand the shit but I wasn't bitch they had me read out some French paragraph bitch I sound like a damn fool let me find a French paragraph right now and read it to you so here's a, an example of what they would have had me read okay À ce moment, assurez-vous que les dossiers de siège et tablettes sont dans les positions verticales. <laughs> de plus, assurez-vous que votre ceinture de sécurité est bien bouclée. Aussi, nous vous sont... oh Lord. nous vous conseillons qu'à partir de ce moment, tout équipement électronique doit être éteint. Éteint? Je ne sais pas. Je, je ne sais pas. Ok? Je vous remercie. Ok, so that's an example of what I had to read. And you see how I butchered it just then? Though my accent's good, I just can't. Like, I just sound like a... I sound like Boobie the Fool. Like, there's just no if, ands, buts about it. I sound dumb reading that. So, I butchered that. 
but I still had a good vibe after the interview. I think they were just willing, they just needed people, so they was gonna hire anybody. Like they literally would hire anybody. You know, like a call center hires anybody. That's how this kind of felt. So even though I butchered it, um, they spoke to me in French and I could translate back. So I guess that was my bonus in the interview. So fast forward, I get contacted, they let me know I got the job, I sign the contract, and they tell you that you're gonna be in flight school or um, training for I think two weeks. So I was in class and then on a plane and basically everybody usually passes. It's really easy but there's certain rules you have to follow. <sighs> now before I even get into what happens in flight school let me say this. In all of my jobs that I've ever had up until probably Shopper Drug Mart I've had an issue with what not to wear, okay? I've had clothing issues, wardrobe issues, uh, dress code basically. I'm good with dress code. I, I'm really just not. And at this time when I was in flight school, when I got hired for this job, I was dead broke. I had no money, like, mm -mm, I ain't have a dollar, okay? So I was excited to work, but there was rules to flight school and that included that you had to have certain shoes and blah 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 but because we were only in training and we were in class I felt like I was going to school so I didn't feel like I had to dress the part like we didn't have our uniforms and stuff yet we went to get fitted for them but we didn't have the actual uniforms yet because you don't really get that until after you're officially hired as a flight attendant after training is done so we're in training now it's a full class, half these motherfuckers don't even speak French, while your girl here, Bougie, she could speak a little bit. So I would say in terms of the people that could speak French, I was definitely at the top of my class. There's probably one or two people that could speak better than me, but there was a class of like 20 of us. And so the other rules were that you were not allowed to miss a day. If you miss a day, bitch, you're gone, you're fired, you're out, like see you never. Ever, ever. Okay. Um, other rules were uh, when it came to jewelry. First of all, first of all, bitch, I got two nose rings. I had my tragus pierced at the time, and this motherfucking job is the reason I don't have my tragus piercing anymore. I loved my tragus piercing. It was so cute. But because of this job, and because I was taking this job seriously, even when I started flight school, like I tried to do some of the rules as uh, they were given to me, but other rules I just wasn't following. Like when it came to appropriate shoes or, and attire, I wasn't all the way there yet. But I was definitely willing to remove jewelry, except for my nose rings. My nose rings, I would simply place a piece of tape over it if I had to but you can't wear like a long necklace like I wouldn't be able to wear my necklace um your I couldn't have a weave because your hair can't be down your back you have to have like a bob cut your hair can't pass the nape of your neck so I, I took my weave out for the job I had my hair in a bun every day you had to wear makeup if you were a woman because you can't look tired you have to look awake and alert so their makeup minimum was eyeliner blush and uh, I think a little bit of powder obviously that wasn't an issue for me because I like to kick my face but being a flight attendant you would be waking up and needing to be at the airport at all hours of the morning so like your face better be fucking looking flawless bitch at like 4 a.m. but who's really doing that not me anyway I had the intent to do it I did but of course other things led in a different direction so I'm in class I'm willing to learn I think I even posted on my Instagram at one point that I was studying like I was being a good ass girl and trying to get my life together like this is at what this was at one of those points in my life where I was like yo something gotta give like I gotta start you know being serious about my life and so I was studying hard do take my notes because there would be testing class and it was all obviously open book but even so like you needed to remember everything you needed to remember what the parts of the plane are called so like I know things now that I would not have known if I didn't go to flight school and so that's always cool but like I didn't go to flight school to not 
finish flight school, but obviously God had another plan for me. Anyway, doing everything right as far as you know, studying and, and really focusing on this because I'm like, this would be an awesome job. It's a career, it's not just a job. Like Shopper's Drug Mart, bitch, that's a job. Flight attendant, that's a career. And obviously the benefits of traveling and doing, you know, just, it would just be such an awesome job to have. And so I was really looking forward to it. And so I'm in class, um, the first couple times, like at first I was wearing my Jeffrey Campbell heels, okay, inappropriate. I know. So at first I was wearing a shoe like this, but the all black one. So they're black matte leather and they had the wood heel. The heel requirements for being a flight attendant, I think, is not past two inches. Bitch, this is six. This is six motherfucking inches. So we knew that these were not accessible. However, I didn't really have dress shoes to wear. So, of course, first day they tell me your shoes are not appropriate. You have to wear different shoes, but at least they're black. So because of that, I was like, okay, I'll wear my Doc Martens. Of course, again, I get in trouble for my Docs. The freaking trainer who was so rude and just not understanding my situation because like he called me out in front of the class and that's one of my pet peeves like when I was in school if a teacher was trying to call me out in front of the class best believe I had to get rude and real quick because you're not gonna embarrass me like he called me to his desk the first time he called me out he didn't do it and embarrassed me like it was cool you know not a big deal I wore my Doc Martens they were all black if you know what a Doc Martin is it's a boot like it's a fucking heavy duty fucking skinhead boot so I guess that wasn't appropriate either like you really had to wear either black flats which I didn't own not one pair of flats because I don't like flats so I didn't own any flats and I didn't have money because motherfucker y'all ain't pay me yet so y'all can wait till you give me my first paycheck and then I will get some flats and we'll be good like we're still in training like I am traveling first of all it would took me I had to carpool with some Asian man it took me freaking um, the first day of school I was late because it took me hours to get there like I was traveling all the way from Scarborough to basically Mississauga like it was so far and so and that was just for training if you don't have a car it's just it's, it's, it's useless like that was definitely a job that I would need a car for because you can't just um, if you're a flight attendant, you gotta drive yourself to the airport every morning that you're or whenever you're going somewhere. You have to take yourself to the airport. I didn't have no fucking car, bitch. I didn't have a dollar, so how could I have a car? Like, wait. I'm wearing the Doc Martens. He tells me my shoes are inappropriate. I need to be wearing different shoes. They have to be flat or two inch heels, and whatever. And he also let me know that my leggings were inappropriate and my dress shirt was chiffon. So it was dark but it was a little bit see-through and I did have a tank top underneath it but still he said it was inappropriate. So I needed to change my whole entire wardrobe. I'm like my nigga, I'm going to be in a uniform. We're in school. Why can't I just be how I am? Like I never even told said this to him but this was what I was thinking. I'm like yo like bitch I'm broke. Like what you want me to do? And so I explained that to him. I explained to him, look, I don't have any money. I'm going to get different shoes when I get paid, but I don't have any money right now, and this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to wear to school. And so um, he was just like, figure it out. My nigga. When I say he was so fucking rude, and he had a thick, heavy French accent, and he was so arrogant. And I would, like, I'm telling you my struggle right now, like, I'm opening up to you, I'm telling you, sir, I don't have a dollar, like, I'm pissed, I don't got a pot to piss in my nigga, like, I'm actually dead broke. My mom could have helped me if I had asked her, but, like, I'm super independent, and so I didn't ask her, and so that's what led up to this. So... I, I didn't have money. I told him, I'm like, as soon as we get paid, like, I'm willing to buy the shoes and everything. I'm, I'm, I'll be down. But, like, this is what I have for right now. He said, figure it out. I said, sir, like, I literally don't have any money. I can't go out and buy a pair of shoes for this job. Like, if you're paying attention to what I'm wearing, I don't dress like a normal human being. Like, <laughs> I really don't. So, I don't have anything that's suitable for this job right now. And that's why I'm getting a job so that I can make money, so that I can dress appropriately. But you were trying to help a sister out. So, he basically tells me, figure it out. <sighs> so, 
I reflect, I go home, and of course, the next day, I still don't have the gear I'm gonna need. Because even if, even if, even if I had the money, from the time we finished work every day to the time my ass got home, I wouldn't have been able to go to the mall and purchase a pair of shoes within that time frame from the day before and the day after okay he spoke to me so of course the next day this was like a week I think um, this was about a, like half a week like we were half a week into flight school or training so we'll say this is a Wednesday I go on a Thursday it's um, I'm wearing this time I'm wearing flats, but they're Sperry Top Siders and they're fucking cheetah print, like or leopard print. I had leopard print um, Sperry Top Siders, and my outfit of choice was better. Like uh, my outfit wasn't an issue at this point. However, my shoes were not black, so I think he was just picking on me and maybe trying to make an example of me. But either way, at this point, he was being ignorant as fuck okay he call, this time he calls me out in front of the class and I simply ask him like sir can you like can you not do this right now like can we talk about this after <laughs> because that's not a part of the lesson like I just want to learn blah 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 and so he's like I spoke to you yesterday and I told you that you're not allowed to wear blah 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 and you're doing it again today and I'm like sir I explained to you that this is all that I have push comes to shove we don't really resolve anything, he just continued with the lesson, and then we break for lunch. <sighs> we come back from lunch, I'm sitting at the table with the person that I'm studying with. In fact, um, one of the girls had missed a day, like she sat at the back of the class and she missed a day, but she was there that day, so I was like, oh, so they're not gonna, they don't really fire you, they just scare you, tell you that. So, She's sitting at the back of the class. I'm sitting on the left hand side of the class and I'm sitting beside somebody and we're comparing notes and doing whatever. And so the teacher's at the front of the class now after lunch and now he's subliminally saying stuff about me in front of the whole entire class. And everybody knows that he's talking about me and he's also talking about the girl that missed a day. And so because he decided he wanted to do that, I decided to speak up and just be like, if you're addressing me or if you want to say something about me or to me, you can say it because you've already embarrassed me for the day. Like, you've already called me out in front of everybody. So if there's something you would like to say, you can say it to me. You don't have to, like, beat around the bush and say people or say some people. Like, you don't have to do that. I'm here. You're here. Everybody knows who you're talking about. So if you have something to say, just say it to me. I'm straight up bitch like I'm a straight up gangster so you're not gonna do that if I'm standing or sitting in the room and you want to talk to me you can talk to motherfucking me you're not gonna talk about me like I ain't sitting right here my nigga like you're really not gonna do that so I called him on his fucking bullshit and so um, I never said anything about what he was saying about the girl in the back because that was my business she wanted to step up and talk but for herself she could she was also a black female by the way he caught an attitude of course he kind of like arguing with me obviously I'm arguing back because at this point I don't even care I'm like you know what if I get fired if I like if this is the end of this road for me I'm good like honestly being a flight attendant is a scary motherfucking job you have you're responsible for everybody if the plane were to crash which is obviously unlikely unless you're in Grey's Anatomy then you are responsible for, to get everybody off the plane if you live of course you're responsible to get everybody off the plane before yourself bitch i'm selfish i could never i am not you're a babysitter you're all kinds of things and i am with the shit and planes are scary like i don't even like being on planes my ears pop i'm in pain but you have to keep a composure when you're on a plane and you have to be in like a whole different mindset and personally i don't think i would have done well at the job because because, like I would just be thinking about too much going up in the air all the damn time you can't drink pop because then you'll be bloated and all kinds of shit okay that's neither here nor there so I know that this is definitely something I wasn't supposed to do but I was trying and that's why I was so frustrated that this man was picking at me because I'm like yo I just basically found something to get my life back in check 
and you're basically shutting my dreams down right now like I obviously was my it was never my dream to be a flight attendant however it was at the time because that's all I knew I was like okay with this I don't have to go back to school any job that I've taken I just been like well I'm trying to do something so that I don't have to go back to school fast forward to we had a second break after lunch and so we take the break we basically take the break to cool down because everybody's like kind of freaking out or whatever and so I don't leave the classroom I just sit in there and I wait for the break to be done because it's a waste it's like 15 minutes so I just want to chill when it's 50 when the 15 minutes is up everybody comes back in the class he resumes teaching and maybe five to ten minutes later I see the blonde lady that interviewed me walking into the room. And so they take they basically tell us you guys can go on break again. When I seen that lady walk through the room, walk into the room, I already knew what time it was. I already knew it was time to pack my shit and go. They didn't need to tell me anything. Like I was ready to go. And so they said everybody leave the room except for Bougie and Katrina. So we just go name the other girl. So because so when she said bougie and katrina i automatically knew what time it was because why are they holding me here with a girl that wasn't here yesterday they're coming to make examples out of us the ladies at the front of the class and i i really think that the man had a vendetta against me yes i wasn't following all the rules but if i explain to you my situation and you can't like look past that then there's like he obviously there was something more there like he was obviously just not feeling me at all he wasn't feeling the kid it is what it is lots of people don't feel bougie it's okay so she basically comes she hands me a letter and she's like i need you to read that and so i'm like i don't need to read this and i put it in my bag and i leave and the other girl sits there and reads it and I leave I pay I get my shit and I just go because I'm like there's there's nothing for me to read here like I already know what this is like you guys could have just said we're gonna need you to excuse yourself you didn't need to say like I need you to sit here and read this read this for what you guys want to ridicule me even more like you want me to read the letter in front of you that you guys are terminating me as a fucking student because that's basically what we were some students okay so I was pissed livid when I get mad bitch I cry I'm one of those people sue me but it is what it is I'm pissed so like I'm shaking I'm bawling my eyes out I'm like fucking French asshole I'm wanting to kill him like I really want to just punch him in his shit like I was so fucking mad I was so mad I leave the building and I walk and I go outside and I'm sitting on a bench I call who did I call I think I called shooter and let shooter know what just happened and shooters like you do this every time blah 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 just keep your mouth shut blah blah, blah. I'm like, you're not helping the situation goodbye goodbye i don't have time for you this is not what i need right now good mother fucking bye don't talk to me hang up on him call my mom i tell her everything that happened she's like why didn't you tell me that you needed shoes blah 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 and i'm like it wasn't just the shoes mom blah 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 blah, blah. okay <laughs> so neither of the conversations that was happening were going anywhere i just needed something to call to vent to to let them know what the fuck just happened because i want to go back in that motherfucking building drape that little man up and whoop his motherfucking ass that's what I wanted to do and if I catch him on road it's most definitely gonna be a ting but I probably won't catch him on road because his little 50 year old ass is a damn flight attendant so he's always up in the sky he lucky anyway when I finally get home I read it's a good thing I didn't throw the letter out I kept the letter and I read the letter once I got home and I was cooled down the girl that actually got fired with me she came out the building after and she drove me home which was super dope of her and so we were in traffic for a long time and we were just cussing it's obviously just not in the plan she's like honestly like I missed one day like I didn't think it would be that big of a deal and it is what it is it wasn't for us like if it was for us we would still be there up in the sky with the other guy the girl that was driving me home had told me what the letter was saying because she actually stayed opened it and read it while she was in there and took her stuff and left and so she told me what was in the letter and she said I think we're getting severance pay so the letter that they gave us 
even though we were just in training we shouldn't have actually got severance pay offered to us but I think they just like did a copy and paste thing and didn't read it through they just took the letter that they usually give when you get um, when they fire people they just put our names on it and gave it to us so we ended up getting two weeks of severance pay at $30 an hour guess where I took my ass right to Mac bitch like wait I got paid so much money for only three days of class um, and they gave me two weeks they gave me my pay plus or like the couple of days that I did plus two weeks extra of pay which was lit AF so I took my little ass shopping I saved a little bit and that money really helped like as soon as I got home and I read that I emailed the lady that um, hired me I said this is bougie I see here in the letter that you guys have terminated me and you guys are offering me two weeks of severance pay I would like to know when exactly I'll be getting that check cut when will y'all be cutting the check and giving it to me to put into my account and she said that she'll have it over within 24 hours and she did it was FedEx straight to my dough so I got my check I cashed the check and then I went shopping and that is basically the story on how I got fired from flight school and why uh, what I want to know from you guys is if you've ever been fired from a job for a shitty reason like wardrobe and if you have let me know in the comment section below and yeah thank you so much for watching so I love you all and I will definitely see you in the next one